Hi everyone, this is a very short video on how to draw a displacement vector, just a single displacement vector. I've got two examples to show. Judy walked five meters east and Jules walked eight meters northeast. So we'll start with Judy. Now, for the drawing of a displacement vector, we want to have an orientation, a scale, and then draw in the vector. So we'll start off with our orientation. We need to identify a north direction. It's probably the easiest way is to draw a simple arrow, label that north. Now if this is north, then obviously down is south, to the right is east, and to the left is west. Now we need a scale. Now, we're moving five meters east. We've got a grid of 10 by 10 squares. This grid conveniently has one centimeter squares. So I might say for my scale that one centimeter equals one meter. One centimeter equals one meter. Now I can draw in my vector. So if I'm going five meters east, and one centimetre is one metre, then five centimetres is five metres. I draw that across here to the value of five metres. My vector has got a length of five centimetres, which gives us a value of five metres. It's got a tail and it's got a head. The head is signified by the arrow giving the direction. Displacement is a vector which means it has a magnitude and a direction. Jules walked eight meters northeast. So we're going to need a orientation. And if we want to, we could draw our orientation with just the north, or if we wanted to, we could draw our orientation with north, south, east, and west. That's up to us and what's most convenient. <clears throat> now, we need a scale. So we've got an orientation, now we need a scale. He's going eight metres northeast. Looking at the grid and the space that I've got available to me, I'm probably best to go with one centimetre equals one metre again. So I write in my scale. One centimetre equals one metre. So if I'm going eight metres, one centimetre is one metre, then I need eight centimetres. And because I'm going northeast, because I'm going northeast, I need to go at 45 degrees to the horizontal. But what does that, what does that really mean? So if I was just to draw in this construction line here, just for the sake of an illustration. So I've got a dotted line here to be a construction line. Now, thanks to my orientation, I know that this is up in the north direction and we're going to go northeast. So we're going to go 45 degrees, 45 degrees to the east. So 45 degrees to the east, which is over here. So I put a little dot there to help me get an idea of which direction I'm going. Now I take my ruler, I know that I need eight centimetres, so I take my ruler, I line up my two dots, and I go eight centimetres. Now I've got an orientation, a scale, and a vector. If I wanted to make absolutely certain that the person reading my work didn't get confused, I could put in the angle 45 degrees here to make absolutely certain, but it's not necessary. <clears throat> 